So I hear you've got a keynote coming up. This is the thing, you're trying to make a great conference, something that will really knock teachers out of their comfort zones, out of their pre-held conceptions of what conferences are in your district. But here's the thing, teachers have been to so many of these, right? And you're just like, how do I break through the crust of the teachers who don't want to be there? And how do I also provide high quality, right? And, and also not give in to like what those teachers necessarily just want to hear. How do I push them, but also engage them? I think I can do that. I mean, I'm not positive, like I, I'm not a magician. I think I can do that. Give me a shot at that. I think I can do that. I mean, I'm not a magician, don't get me wrong. I'm not a, I'm not a conjurer. I'm no heart controller. I can't make people do anything, but I am good at moving a spectrum of teachers from where they are at the start of a session to a different place, usually like 99% of the time a better one. I mean, really, I don't know of a time when I've, when I've left someone at a worse place. There are three basic hallmarks of my keynote services. Number one, relevance. I tell stories that are from my actual practice as a teacher. Not my practice as a teacher 10 years ago, not my practice as a teacher of teachers in a consulting situation, as an actual teacher of ninth grade humans. I teach full-time freshman English and freshman world history. That's what I do. And so that's what I reference when I give a keynote presentation. The second hallmark is humor. Even this, even this is funny. You notice how this is a funny way to count? I'm not like a stand-up comedian, I won't say that. I'm, I'm not that funny, but I do sprinkle in some humor. I mean, teaching is sort of a funny job. There's a lot of funny things about our work in school buildings across the country. And what I've found is that whether I'm speaking in California or Ohio or Michigan or Missouri, a lot of that humor transcends buildings and school districts. So I'll bring that. The third thing is authenticity. You see, I don't give keynotes on things that I know nothing about. I talk about things that I'm actually wrestling with. I am wrestling right now as a world history and English teacher with how to make literacy quality, how to make it efficient, how to make it reach as many students as possible, how to reach that super hard to reach kid and how to challenge that super gifted kid and how to not forget about the oft neglected middle kid. Those are things I'm wrestling with. So those are the types of things that I bring into my keynotes. I'm not one of those teachers who's gonna come with my story about how I changed the entire world. I do think that my story is inspirational, and inspiration is part of what I try to bring in a keynote. But it's inspiration through the reality of what happens in the classroom of 99.9% .9 of teachers in the country. I'm not gonna fluff people, I'm not gonna tell them that the things that I talk about are silver bullet strategies, but I will still strive to get across the central idea of my work. Just because a strategy is not guaranteed to work with every kid, just because an initiative won't necessarily solve all problems. Just because we try something in the classroom and fail doesn't mean that these things aren't worth trying, learning from, and trying again. I will stress that we are never finished at becoming great at this job. And I think by the end of the keynote, I'll get across that this is okay. Being never finished is part of what makes teaching fun. If you'd like to know more information about my keynote services, just look below this video. You'll find the different topics that I've spoken on in the past, some feedback from former participants, and a contact form at the very end that you can use to get in touch with me about dates and rates. Hey, let's do a keynote sometime, okay? I'll just say as a postscript, I love giving keynotes. It's fun for me to get in front of so many people. It's nerve wracking for me, but a lot of fun. And in general, the feedback from folks is like, hey, I'm energized, I can't wait, what a great start to the day or what a great finish to the day. So give me a shot. I mean, what do you got to lose? A lot, you're saying. You're saying a lot. Yeah, I agree, you do kind of have a lot to lose. It's true. Let's end this video.